You're watching the Columbia Cougars Coaches Show here on Mediacom Channel 22. My name is Cosmo with head coach John Klein of the soccer team. Conference play continues on. What you've got ahead of you guys now is probably your toughest week to 10 day stretch of the entire soccer season right now. Really is um, four games in an eight or nine day period and all conference games, all important matches. I think originally that was a, th a three game in, in nine day period and we had an opportunity to get uh, UMKC onto the schedule, the Division One opponent earlier in the year. So we made an adjustment uh, and we had to fit Missouri Baptist into this week. So, so it gives us uh, Hannibal on Saturday, William Woods on Tuesday, Missouri Baptist on Thursday, and, and Park on Saturday. We're certainly going to have to use our entire roster uh, to get through this week, and, and they're all critical matches. And, um, you know, we'll need everybody to step up this week. Yeah, pretty much the remainder of the conference games are teams that are fighting for those top four spots with you guys at the top of the AMC conference, especially Park, or at least as of now where the standings are. Uh, right there at the top, along with uh, McKendry, where you had the tough one nothing loss on the road there. Let's go back a little bit to, to that match on the turf field. And uh, a couple borderlines, you know, Dylan hit the crossbar, I think, in that match. And, and back and forth, and you lose a one nothing game there to them on the road. You know, really, I mean, each, each year that we play them, it's always a close match. We beat them one nothing at home last year. Tim Tevlin hit a great shot from like 25 or 30 yards out. Uh, this year it was those guys hitting the ball from about 24, 25 yards out. Um, but we had our opportunities, and, and I think we've had our opportunities in most games this year. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've told the guys I think they won 10 out of the 11 games in, in terms of possession and opportunities, but, um, but you still have to score the goals. And we didn't get the goal that match. Uh, we didn't get the goal against Missouri Valley, so now we've gone 200 minutes without a goal. But, um, you know, McHenry's in the lead right now. They're in charge of the conference, and uh, we need somebody's help. But uh, we need to take care of business and, and find a way to win four games this week. And you, and you mentioned the UMKC match earlier, and you schedule some of the other uh, school, bigger schools as far as uh, their, their class is concerned, along with Missouri Valley, the team you played the last two or three seasons, I believe. Uh, playing the Vikings, I know that I think they were in Columbia a year ago when you beat them there, but uh, a 0-0 match up there. Talk a little bit about that one. They're having a great year, I and mean, they're they're nine and two, I guess nine two and one with the tie against us. Uh, I don't believe they've lost in their conference play yet. Extremely challenging Heart of America conference. So uh, and, and Vladimir over there does a great job. He's very international. Uh, I don't know if there was an American on the field for them the other night, but uh, pretty evenly played match. I certainly thought we had the better of the scoring chances. Uh, Dylan's been extremely dangerous on the left side. He had, uh, he got in four or five times in the first 25 or 30 minutes, had a couple shots on goal, tried to cross a few, just, we just didn't find the net. So, uh, so we are, we're still tinkering uh, with that attack and, and we need to find uh, some goals this week. What is the mindset of the team in practice with that? And we'll get into more of that with one of your co-captains, Nicola coming up on the show as our player guest, but what is the mindset when you get into a situation where you have the, the goals coming at a fast pace in several games and then all of a sudden nothing? Does that change the mindset a little bit with the guys? Are they forcing things a little bit, you think, or what? Well, it hasn't been too extended. You know, I mean, we haven't gone a, a whole lot of time without scoring goals, but now it is, is two full matches. And uh, I, I'm sure goal scorers think about it, just like uh, golfers think about three-foot putts when they miss a couple of them in a row. So you think about a one-foot putt, uh, yeah. a three-foot one. Um, so I, I'm sure it's on their mind, but, uh, you know, these guys love to play. I mean, they're very energetic at practice, and uh, they're pretty loose at practice. And um, I, think, I think it'll come. You know, I, I think a lot of it uh, is, is luck at times. It's just they're physical soccer matches. You have to... You have to take your chances. You have to be creative, get into the box. I do think we're doing that. I think we've been a little bit unfortunate. And maybe it's just time for uh, good fortune to fall on our side. Luck comes back the other direction every once in a while. You hit a crossbar, maybe you get some of those to fall in. And, and instead of a, a one nothing loss or a 1-1 match, it's a 2 or 3 nothing game for the Cougars. Uh, conference play again coming up with the Family Day homecoming festivities on Saturday, kicking off a, a long stretch of uh, big-time conference matches where everyone is a big time deal in the standings for the Columbia College Cougars. Three o'clock on Saturday at our Marvin Owens. It's the Cougars and Hannibal LaGrange again, three o'clock at our Marvin. Hopefully you can come out and root on the Cougars uh, to victory at home. We'll come back and have our player guest next. It's the Columbia College Coaches Show on Mediacom Channel 22.